Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about some Samurai games for the Nintendo Wii. Power Ranger Samurai is a shallow game the first minutes you play, but once you'll play more of it, you'll see that it's not a bad game. It's kind of shallow in some aspects, but it's far from being a bad game. What you see in the video is all you do, mostly. You have a weak attack button, a strong attack button, and a jump button. And you run from point A to point B in linear levels, speeding up everyone. Then you get to boss battles. And boss battles are tough. They are nothing like the linear levels, which are easy. Oh, and you get some levels like this, which are second phase forms of boss battles. As characters, you can choose from six different Power Rangers. Overall, the game is okay. If it gives you the impression that it's shallow, I recommend you to play at least one hour of the game. You'll see that when you get to the first boss battle, then the game isn't that shallow anymore. Of course, it's repetitive, even if the locales are varied. But overall, the game is okay. I mean, I can't call it a bad game. It's not impressive, but it's okay. Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes is amazing. It's a beat em up similar to Dynasty Warriors. But what it does better than Dynasty Warriors, in my opinion, is the variety in mission objectives. You have to do all sorts of things, from bringing down some ships on the river so that you can cross to eliminating lasers. The number of moves you can perform is also high, by fighting you get money and upgrade your character. And you can buy new attacks, new weapons and new items. And each of the game's 12 characters has different moves and feels different in battle. Also many cutscenes in this game are hilarious. A downside though is that the characters repeat their lines too much and it gets annoying but that's a nitpick. And another annoying thing is that after you plow through so many enemies, your health diminishes. And where I want to get with this is that after you plow through so many enemies and your health bar isn't full, you get into the boss battle, with your health bar not regenerated. You play with your health bar low and that's what makes boss battles a little difficult. But overall the game is amazing, the gameplay has depth, you feel epic while plowing through enemies and the story is interesting too, so I recommend the game, just try it, it's awesome. Samurai Warriors Katana ruins what was great about the franchise. It was a hack and slash game similar to Dynasty Warriors, but now instead of making you feel epic plowing through hordes of enemies, you are on rails. This game is an all-rails shooter. You point on the screen and slash with your katana. And for enemies that are at a distance, you can shoot them with bows and pistols. And the experience, even if it looks good at first, it gets tiresome and old fast. But if you're into all-rails shooters and katana games, then you will love this 8-hour long game in which you do exactly that. Onichambara Bikini Zombie Slayers is, as the title says, a bikini zombie slayer hack and slash game. You play as four characters, Aya, Saki, Misery and Reiko. Each character has her own story missions and own quest missions. Once you select any mission you get into an enclosed area, like the one you see now in the video, and start hack and slashing. Also it's important to upgrade your character in the game. You can buy items or rings that grant you special abilities. Also it's nice to see that each character controls different. The gameplay is arcadey and feels satisfying. And it's interesting that even though the game makes you fight in enclosed areas and in theory sounds like a repetitive game, it didn't felt repetitive. Upgrading and switching characters made the gameplay varied enough. Overall, it's a fun game to play. Oh, and after you finish the story missions and quest missions, you can play the survival and arcade modes. Okay, you, play, you can play them right from the start without doing story missions or quest missions. But it's, I recommend you to start with the story and quests and then go to the survival and arcade modes. But yeah, you have those modes too, which do exactly what the name says. I recommend Yoni Chambora. It's a pretty cool game. 
Samurai Warriors 3 is incredible. The gameplay is similar to Dynasty Warriors, and it's amazing to see that there are 37 playable characters, and from those characters, 30 have story missions. And characters feel different, of course that among those 37 maneuverability styles you will get a lot of similarities, but it's nice to see that not all characters move exactly the same. And the side of story missions and free play, you get the Mirasama Castle mode, which is a map based mode where you hack and slash, but in levels shown on the map, and this mode can be played with a friend online. You can play it in single player too, I'm just saying that if you have a friend by with a Wii and the same game, you can play this mode together. And in the historical mode, you create your own character and go through a new story, separate from the stories of those 30 playable characters I've talked about. The game is amazing, it offers a ton of content, and most importantly, it's a lot of fun.